when true. men get mad, we want to destroy, like eliminate. So vulnerability, I'm not standing for saying don't feel emotions. You're going to feel it, but it's a way to process through it. And we can't just let our emotions out. Let's say how a woman can. We have to be calculated because you make the wrong move. These cops don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They're looking at you as a monster already off the gate, even if you don't right. do anything. But it's hard so to be, be very go, careful. Go ahead, it's hard to be yeah. vulnerable when and from when we born, we we are we are basically like self-taught to protect our sensitivity. Like we are like men are sensitive, you know what I'm saying? Very tender. That's why a lot of things y'all forgive us for, we just can't see past that shit. And so from from birth, we like all right, we can't even let nobody know that we that we that we sensitive in this in this area. So you're not even gonna be vulnerable because soon somebody be able to pick that, and it's like they they just took your arm off. So yeah, a lot of times like men, we supposed to, it's supposed to be a safe space for all that, but it ain't a, nobody's really creating it. Like it's one thing to teach our kids that, but what are we really preparing them for if 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 the world's not gonna be like that? And the reality yeah, is, when they find a chink in your armor, they pick at it. Yeah, they, they, they pick at it. Oh, they, they bring it back up, and that shit hurt us. But I have a question. Do y'all think that this has something to do with the environment that you brung up in? Yeah, for sure. Because that's that's the world. You can be vulnerable. Parents teach their kids to be vulnerable and things like that. But then it's kids who prey on them and bully them and take advantage of their vulnerability because they're not brought up like that. But you could so be that. But you could be all that. But the first time you date, the first time you old enough to date a girl and you tell her something that's oh, very nah, sensitive nah, to you nah, nah, and she nah, bring nah. that shit back up, that's all it takes. And you like, no, nah, I'm never going. I'm never going to put myself but in this position again. again. Environment, how she was brought up, and who she, who she is. But that's the, that shit still hurt you as a boy or a man. Period. And then you don't, you don't let go of that shit. Like I said, we more sensitive than y'all, so y'all could probably say I'm gonna move on from that. And ladies, but we be holding on to that. And shit, I mean, we hold some serious weight. We got, we got to understand. Like when a woman starts crying, it's all like, dang, what's wrong? What happened? You okay, queen? When the dude start crying, it's like nobody yeah, gives yeah, a fuck. Hey, bro, it's like, that's, that's 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 hold on, 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 hold on. Let me finish my point. Let me okay. finish my point. My thing is, I'm saying, like, 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 listen, just think about. It. Let's say we talk about dating a girl, right? You go up to her. <laughs> What's the dude that gets the bitches? Not the nigga that's crying all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's the tough dude. Talking about his feelings. Exactly. The one. I feel like it's a delivery. It's how you deliver it. A man I got, I got, I got a better. feelings without whining. Listen, listen. I got another but, example. Oh, well, when you, when you, when you do cry, when you do cry in front of her, and then three months later, she think it's a joke to bring that shit back up. But as you, as y'all speak, this is all, 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 what to receive? There are some women out here that can give you a safe space, but we're not taught to but identify. Know, that's a side one. That's a good one. But don't y'all know how y'all like to be? Y'all don't like to be grouped in the niggas ain't no, shit. To the no, mic. no, no. Peep, like peep, peep this. Peep this. But peep this. Peep this. Peep this. Listen, all this stuff. We we just talking in general. Yeah, we're talking about majority, women. not all women. We're not yeah. even saying that. You know what I'm saying? We had this, but the thing about it is, this is a general problem with men. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Dang, if I'm vulnerable right here, man, I'm looked at as soft. Dang, I'm looked at as weak. Dang, she gonna leave me. Dang, you know what I'm saying? Like we are constantly. Bombarded and like you know what we that's just not, like fuck this shit we're not gonna. Y'all got it. But how y'all was brought up? I'm gonna just tell y'all. I'm gonna just tell y'all. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. No, no, no. But that's not just your environment. This is a typical problem around men everywhere. Yeah, so we can say how you was raised on what you dealt with in your upbringing. It's all on how you was raised. If you was raised a different way, if you was raised. With being able to be vulnerable and things like that, you wouldn't have these same thoughts. You wouldn't be conditioned to well, think like. Well, I'm gonna tell you, you from my experience. I'm not way. allowed. I'm not allowed to operate. I'm not allowed to operate how I was raised in society because you it's can't. not healthy for me. One it's thing not, about you that, don't survive that way. This society now. These women will eat your ass alive. Exactly. Generation curses. A lot exactly. Of that stuff, so, a lot of that stuff is generation curses. The only way I, reason I can't agree with you is because when you grow older, you start realizing what is right and what is wrong, whether right. you're not your mother taught exactly. you or your father taught you. So you start to break it. So conditioned or not is one of them things where as though you learn to break it. Men are dating women who, look like they who they feel as though is there for them, but when they show them a sign, they don't go left. It's no reason that you your woman isn't your safe place. Your woman should be your gatekeeper. Uh, all right, you should be able all right. To come no, 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 y'all, y'all, hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all, 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 hey, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, y'all. I'll let y'all talk. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go. I'll let y'all talk. 
I heard a lot of bullshit come out y'all's mouth, man. Same See, way. this is this is another example why I said earlier what women say they're attracted to and what they're actually attracted to are two different things. Now, here's the thing. Women innately, innately look at their man for safety, okay? Mm -hmm. So let me tell you this. Safe, I don't understand. Well, I understand. But most guys don't understand the level of anxiety and the level of fear that most women have in their lives. So when you have a man, you look at him for your safety and security and to be that rock. So when the winds of life are fucking swirling, your man is your fucking rock. Firm. I'm not going to tell you that, you know what, you shouldn't open it up to your woman, but do it very carefully. I always say this, a man's tears should be like rain in the desert, a very rare event, but significant when it happens. Come on now. You cannot open up to your woman on every little fucking thing and be vulnerable because she's mm -hmm. going to be like, this nigga's a bitch. Can't he handle your own problem? Yeah, you got you to be able to go to your boys. How can you protect me? How can you protect me? You're a bitch. Yeah. And again, it's just innate, innately how God has made y'all. You're biologically wired to look at safety as your man. If you're crying and you're vulnerable 24-7, she's not going to like you anymore. It's just, it's, it's facts. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a 